My client deserves a loving and supportive home. My client deserves some hope in his life. A transgender teen's grandparents are fighting to keep custody of their grandchild, who badly wants hormone therapy. They are the only family members that have provided acceptance and support that most probably kept this child from taking his own life. Excuse the melodrama, Your Honor, but these people are heroes. Cincinnati Children's diagnosed the teen with depression, anxiety, and severe gender dysphoria. Counselors had been treating him, but according to court documents, his parents pulled him out to seek a Christian therapist. They also forced him to listen to Bible scriptures for six hours at a time. The child has stated, I don't want to go back home. When I was home, dad chased me around the house. When I was home, I lived in terror. Today, the parents pled their case to a judge wanting to ensure their child wouldn't begin transgender hormone therapy. Pretty much everything the parents say or don't say is taken out of context, twisted, exaggerated, blown out of proportion, and then improperly used against them. Attorneys for the teen say the child cried and screamed in the fetal position when seeing his birth name on documents and that the best option is to hand custody to his grandparents. Your Honor, what we want to do in the coming months around May is plan for a high school graduation. Throughout the summer and fall, plan for entrance into college. We don't want to be planning a funeral. Now, closing arguments wrapped up around 4 o'clock this afternoon. The judge telling us tonight she plans to have a decision no later than February the 16th. Reporting live downtown, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5. All right.